For the last time, we are not going south for the winter. Our home is here. In DreamWorks, the bee movie, Barry the honeybee becomes utterly infatuated with a human woman. What's worse is that the movie implies she leaves her fiancé to be with them. Since I'm a bit of a weirdo, I started thinking, why is the idea behind this relationship so disturbing? Aside from the shoddy writing, of course. There is such a thing as acceptable anthropomorphic creature and human relationships or even just setups in animation as a whole. There's Roger and Jessica Rabbit from the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The Chuck Jones short Red Hot Riding Hood features an anthropomorphic wolf with a very obvious romantic interest in Red Riding Hood the showgirl. There's also Margaret with her human boyfriend of the week in earlier seasons of Regular Show. Not to mention Margaret's father, is human. In all of these examples, these characters live in a fictitious universe where human and anthropomorphic animals are coexisting, sentient, and consenting species. The sentient and consenting notes are important since that's one of the more unnerving elements in discussing a relationship like this. It cements that a pair like Roger and Jessica are on par mentally and emotionally. Their decision to get married was a mutual, conscientious one. To further elaborate, Roger is human-sized, albeit still fairly short compared to his towering wife. Both characters are technically the same species by this movie's logic as Toons, and they live in a world populated with a variety of anthropomorphic animals and humans. Given how many there are, it's not unbelievable that an anthropomorph and a human would start dating under these circumstances. The same can be said for regular shell, but there's the added dimension that humans and anthropomorphs can indeed settle down and have mixed species children. It's a bit unsettling when pulled apart and analyzed like this, but my point is that these pairs are set up in such a way that they're acceptable by the rules, cultural norms, and setup of their fictitious world. What makes the V movie's romance so off-putting starts with the fact that Barry is, more or less, the realistic size of a bee. Add in that the movie sets up a very pronounced, distinctive difference between humans and bees from how they interact with each other. Barry is the first bee to reveal to humans that bees are indeed a separate, sentient species living in this universe's Earth. Humans and bees have a lot of groundwork in establishing how to peaceably coexist, let alone how absurd a human and bee pair would be. Barry's parents, friend, and even a later lawyer character paint this potential romance as the ultimate taboo. This is offset by comments about bees entertaining experimental trysts with other insects and even arachnids. Spider? You know I'm not attracted to the spiders. I know that everyone else is like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. Though, it's not enough to tamp down the very striking differences between the species here. When looking at Barry and Vanessa, it's hard not to question the logic of how certain elements of their relationship would work. That aside, I think the other disturbing factor is what kind of tone this movie was going for and its intended audience. Overall, the writing sits in this weird limbo where it's trying to appeal to kids but still sneak in more adult humor from time to time. For example, at one point, Barry suggested that he and Vanessa make a suicide pact. <sighs> How about a suicide pact? A pair like Barry and Vanessa, unnerving food for thought attached, would fit better in an absurdist, surreal romp like Rick and Morty, a show where the overall genre, tone, and mood match how squicky the pair can come across. There's just so much more that the writers could do, and it may even end up being well-written, or something that a viewer can get behind, albeit how ugh, the idea is. That's just my 10 cents, though.